What is up? It's your girl Andrea Janae back in the cup with another video and today we are going to be doing my first cooking video on this channel and I'm very excited. Today I'm going to be cooking some chicken and sausage alfredo um, in a little spicy in a little spicy way with some garlic bread. I'm going to be making some homemade garlic bread um, with biscuits with some biscuits. Okay. So first, oh, this is, I got the beef smoked sausage here and my chicken tenders here. So first we're going to start off by chopping them, chopping my chicken tenders and cleaning them off. And then we're going to go to seasoning them. So I'm going to pull a few out here. Pull like, probably like three juicy or four tenders and first my knife and we are going to cut them and yes I already washed my hands if I haven't mentioned so we're going to cut them into cubes like so and what I like to do I like to cut off this little white thing that is usually on the chicken tenders. It's like a vein or something, but I like to cut that off. And I won't be putting so much chicken because we're gonna have sausage as well. Um, if it was only chicken alfredo, then I'll be using the whole pack of chicken. But since I will be using sausage as well, I won't be using all the meat. Sure, we've got some good pieces, that great stuff. We can push that up. Okay, so now that my meat is all cut, I'm gonna grab my silver pan here. I love this pan, I bought it from Price Right, and it's the best pan ever. We're gonna throw our chicken in here. And I'm just going to head to the sink so I can wash this meat quickly. I'm going to rinse so I go up. Okay, so now that our chicken is nicely so clean the chicken, I like to put a little bit of vinegar, literally just a dab, literally. That mix. Now we're going to start to season. This is my seasoning rack. I love it. My aunt bought it for me. And it's just the best thing ever. So if I'm not mistaken, I know how the seasonings look from the back. So we're going to try to wing it. First, I'm going to come with my onion powder. Yes, sir. Onion powder. You can see it all up in there. Then, of course, we're going to go with our garlic powder next. Chili powder. Nope, that's okay. Now we're going to go with some paprika. Now we're going to make a little, little spicy. We're going to go ahead and use our chili powder. Chili powder. And we're going to use a dab of our Kanye pepper. Adobo with sazon. This little mix here is the best mix that I've. It's actually a new pack, so I have to open it. But honestly, my man had introduced me to this when we were shopping. He was like, "Look, babe, look at this," and I was like, "Oh yeah." Ever since I got it, best thing I could get. So we're gonna go in with some of this, of course. Ya tu sabes, loco. And for pasta, we'll use some of that that basil to top it off. Now we're gonna give now we're gonna give it a little mix. And 
guys, I love to taste my seasonings. Like you will literally see me get a little dab, get a little mix. Definitely need some more adobo with sazon. It's not hot enough, so I'm gonna put a little more chili powder. And onion powder. Look at this color, this color looks so great. So, perfect. So this is how my meat is looking. Nice and seasoned. That color is beautiful. And now we're gonna put that to the side and we're gonna cut our sausage. Um, I won't be using this whole sausage. I'm gonna be using half. So I will start by cutting half. And, and we're just gonna cut it into small thin pieces like so and just keep that going yes perfect you know what i'm just gonna use the whole thing right. okay i want to put this to the side So now that we've got the seasonings and all that good stuff and chopped up our meat, now we're going to start by, I'm going to be making some garlic bread. So I'm going to set that up. Let me wash my hands real quick. I'm gonna grab my spoon, another clean spoon, shall I say? Okay. We're gonna throw some butter in here. And then we are going to grab my little garlic musher and mush a couple garlics in here so we can throw in there. Like when I cook, I like to be doing a million things at once for some reason. Um, you know, for you guys that didn't know, I do work at a factory, Wendy's. I'm an assistant general manager in the Bloomfield location. So, you know, there, you know, it's fast food, you're working fast, moving fast, doing multiple things at once. So that's just how the same, I'm the same way in my personal kitchen as well, doing multiple things and getting multiple things done. So now that our garlic is nice and mushy, we're going to throw it into this butter here. We'll throw it into this butter like so. Then again, we're gonna go in with some basil and we're gonna sprinkle that in there and throw this in the microwave for like a minute so it can, so it can be nice and melted. Okay. So while we're waiting on the butter, um, I'm gonna pop this open here, which is our biscuits and I'm gonna start So roll them. Ooh wee! Sheesh. That thing scared me. Okay. So with our biscuits, we're gonna grab a couple. Let's see if that's enough. And then we're gonna break them. Like so in half. Just wipe this off. Yeah, 
We're gonna break them in half. We got some mozzarella cheese here. And we're gonna roll these pieces of biscuit dough with mozzarella inside of them. So we're gonna roll them like a ball. But first we're gonna like, do like so, so we can spread it out. Grab a pinch of mozzarella. And we're gonna roll it. Okay. And it is okay to get messy. Do not be afraid to get messy. So I'm gonna fast forward this part to when I'm done with the mozzarella, okay? So I got my balls ready. Now we're going to just put them into this pan. Okay. This house looking smells great. Smells amazing. Smells like a bunch of garlic. So now I'm gonna grab my little spread thing for my garlic and we're gonna spread the pan like so. So we won't be popping these in yet. So we're just gonna let this sit. And now we're gonna start boiling our broccoli. Yes, I buy frozen broccoli. It's the easiest. Easy, super easy, super fast, super convenient. So we're just gonna dump like half the bag in here. See these are big pieces we're gonna Break them a little bit up. Cut them up a little bit. All that great stuff. It's pretty big. Right. All right, now I'm gonna fill this with water and put it on the stove. Okay, now. We're going to grab our noodles. Or we can settle for these, actually. I do have these. But you know, I love the fettuccine ones. Awesome. Nice ones. Oh. For some frail. I love them. But. We're gonna have to settle with these. So I'm gonna pop some water in here, put it on the stove, get it boiling. Okay. So now I'm gonna move you guys to my stove. So now I'm gonna move guys over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. So we're gonna go in with this pot and we're gonna start cooking the chicken breast. I got the pasta and the Broccoli boiling, so we're gonna add some salt to both. Let this get hot here. Our butter, got our chicken, and oops, 
So we're gonna put some butter in here. Some butter in there. It's nice and hot. We're gonna throw in our chicken and let that cook in there. I'm gonna put some water in here and capture all this extra seasoning and you guys will know why later. Put a little water in it. So I'm just gonna let this cook. Now I'm gonna pop in my sausage to cook as well. Sausage, I'm gonna use not butter, I'm gonna use a little bit of this oil on the pan. Get it nice and crispy. Um, so I got that on as well. Okay, here goes our sausage. I'm gonna pop that on. Let that cook up. While everything is cooking, I'm gonna preheat the oven so we can put our garlic bread in. I'm gonna preheat it at 350. Um, so I'm just gonna and I'll show you guys how everything looks when everything starts boiling and all that good stuff. Drink it a little bit. Cheers. Just let y'all know this is turkey sausage. I do not eat pork, uh, but I do cook pork for my man because he is a pork eater, but I do not eat pork. The chicken is looking almost done. So what are we going to do now? We're going to start making our pasta sauce. So I have Wagyu Classic Alfredo sauce. I get the classic one because I do season my chicken well. And I like to season it and make it my own flavor. Um, so I just get the classic. Nothing too crazy. Okay, some water. Get all the all fried all we can. Yes. I'm gonna add some of this water. Remember when I told you to get all the extra seasoning? I'm gonna add that. Sausage is looking about done. So we're going to pop the sausage in the back. And later on, we'll be dumping the sausage and the broccoli into the sauce and all that good stuff. I definitely love to clean as I go. So as my food is cooking, I like to wash the dishes, add the dishes and all that good stuff. While I wait, it makes just everything, you know, keep up with the clean. So I wouldn't need to do it all after. Better to do it as we go, if you know what I'm saying. So 
for all my cooks out there. They know what I'm talking about. So I think our oven is nice and toasty. Um, so now I'll be putting our garlic bread in. And again, I want to go over the top. I'm going to go over the top with some more garlic. Up close and personal. Mm. Look at that. Beautiful. Looks great. So now I'm going to pop that in. We are going to drain this broccoli out and dump it in here. This is how our sauce is coming out. Put everything in there. Just gonna taste it. See if I need to add anything. Oh no, it's perfect. Mmm. Yes. Perfect. So now. We're gonna throw some mozzarella cheese in the mix as well. Let me check out the mozzarella. Right, I'm gonna turn this noodle thing off and then we're gonna take it to the sink so we can drain the noodles. I'm gonna move you guys to my sink. Yes, so many dishes piled up here. 
So I'm gonna grab her hard drainer. Grab our pot of noodles and drain them. Ooh, wee. Let's give them a little shake. And dump them back in the pot. Yes, so our noodles are looking great. Let me switch our back over here. give you guys a close-up of me dumping these in the mix start mix the noodles we all good close-up mm. all this all this juiciness Yum. And I'll be right back when the garlic bread is done so I can show you guys our plate and yeah. Alrighty y'all, so the garlic bread does look complete. I'm gonna turn off Yum. This is our garlic bread. This is how it looks. So while it's sizzling like that, you wanna, I'm gonna pack this up so you guys can see. You guys wanna spread the, the garlic sauce that we had made. Oh, did you hear it? Sizzling still. Yes. Ooh. It's like so. Pop this to the side. Grab our pan. And make our plate. Ooh, yes. This looks great. So now. Smells amazing. Right. I'm gonna grab a garlic bread. Ooh. Look how this thing just I'm gonna put it down. Look how it just Ooh. that cheese on there. All right. nice easy quick pasta um thank you for cooking with me and um yeah that's about it um i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys found out a new recipe something good something simple quick um and yeah thank you for cooking with me again follow me on twitter at dreadcline underscore instagram at dreadcline underscore give this a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon deuce